yeah let's start so hi i'm today going to talk about country 5 and uh, i'm the co-lead developer of country 5 and basically i'm trying to give you a rough introdu introduction uh on how how it looks like and what we have the new things in it okay i think we have our people in here so uh country was first released uh, 2009 and it supports the joomla and wordpress uh we have a lot of uh, templates uh, mainly probably in rocket theme uh, but others are using it too and uh, uh, those one million downloads which is in there is the standalone version so it doesn't count the templates which have rocket theme or or country bundled into them so basically uh what we are or have been doing for the past uh, eight months or so is to have a fresh start so basically country is already old framework it has a lot of uh, overhead from the previous versions and backwards compatibility which we had so basically we wanted to start from fresh and another thing which is the main goals of country 5 is to have a the true cross-platform framework so basically uh, you can get uh, or if you are a, a template designer for example and you want to support multiple platforms that's going to be very easy on country 5 uh, because of we kind of have it built in uh, we also have built the code to look into future we have thrown away all the backwards compatibility we have thrown all the uh, old stuff and we just look what's available now and in the future and uh, basically that means also that we have dropped for example ie 9 support in some levels it still works but it's not fully it doesn't have all the features anymore uh, what's important though because of this is designed for the future and people still need uh, uh, something for today too so if you need uh, backwards compatibility if you need ie7 ie8 you can use country 4 still and we will support it uh, for well as long as we have customers enough customers for it uh, requirements are pretty high so basically on Joomla 3.4 PHP 3.4 and on client you see that there is no IE 9 well it works uh, we also have uh, limited support for Android client uh, Android uh, uh, browser uh, but they are not fully supported anymore uh, Kenji 5 is also we thought about how we want to go with it so it's fully open source uh, we have a mid license uh, for most of the code and GPL2 for Joomla WordPress and uh, uh, platforms that are using GPL uh, we have it available in github so basically anyone can access the code all the files in there you can make your own modifications in your own fork you can give the code back to us uh, we are also trying to make uh, frequent releases and uh, we have nightly builds uh, we have free documentation uh, we have one person writing documentation for this uh, well he has to write some other documentation too uh, but we already have pretty large library of documentation so hopefully it helps you to get started uh, at this point the documentation is mostly for the integrators or the uh, site owners uh, but we also have plans to have a actually for the developers we also have few videos uh, the code is changing still so 
have much so we don't have many of the videos we need to redo them anyway uh, but uh, we are going to add all the documentation as free for everyone to use uh, we also have very active community already so we basically currently we are just having Peter's chat and we have about 550 people in there uh, we have a lot of commits uh, we have uh, three lead developers. I'm the programmer on PHP. We have also one for JavaScript and one who does all the uh, CSS and HTML development. Uh, what's interesting on, on Country 5 or what's my, my, one of our main targets on it, developing it, is that you only make your theme or template once and then you can use the same template in multiple platforms uh, for example we have Joomla support we have WordPress support coming very soon uh, I have code running on Crab. I have front end fully working in there admin was working until we started to make too many Joomla changes uh, we have PHP front end working fully we have Mangento working in some level and it's pretty easy to add more platforms and uh, basically what we do is we use prime which is our prime development environment which is uh, basically this one uh, there is the next template which I just removed the image so you cannot see what it's going to be but uh, I, I have a small spoiler in here uh, this is Prime. It's basically a country working in standalone version. So I have a small code bootstrapping it about 40 lines and the rest of it is country. And basically you can develop uh, your theme or we are at least developing our themes in this environment because of this doesn't have the overhead of Joomla or anything else. So we can freely uh, focus on making the theme to work. Now, this is, we, we have actually a few versions of the Callisto in here. Uh, let's look into the demo. So basically, I have fully working site in here. I can go to all the pages, see them. I have all the styling in here. I can go to admin, use it like I was in Joomla or any other platform so basically uh, that allows us to develop the themes in one place and then it takes well I actually uh, implemented the Callisto in WordPress it took me 10 minutes to get it running in WordPress the theme of course it's missing all the styling from WordPress but well we need to do that uh, architecture, we are using Composer on everywhere, so we are using Composer packages and uh, this is actually uh, inspired by Crab, so it's our, in Rocket theme, it's Andy's pet uh, CMS, which he, he wanted to start uh, trying to implement something new, flat CMS, and we basically uh, I, I was part of that uh, for six months before I went into Country project. And uh, about everything in Country is based on Crab. So basically I got all the ideas there and moved them a bit forward. So we have a, a bit better features and a bit uh, more interesting. Uh, well, the multi-platform was the most interesting part of Country to implement. Uh, we have, uh, before I'm going to backend and frontend or looking into those, I need to have some <laughs> words explained because of we had to invent our own words uh, because of different systems use widgets or modules or, uh, or different uh, uh, words. For, so we had to have something that's not in those. Uh, so not already used because of it was so confusing to say that you use scanner widget and then you have WordPress widget, which is different thing. Or 
Joomla model, and then you have a Kanji model. So basically, uh, we have our outlines, which are uh, template styles, particles, which are, well, kind of models in Joomla. We have atoms, which are, uh, they aren't plugins, but they are driving the JS and CSS. And we also name our themes as themes. So if I talk about themes, I mean Joomla templates in this content. Don't content. Uh, I'm not going to say anything about that. Let's go to the forward. So uh, we have outlines page. Uh, this is from development version. We have actually different images in here. Um, but these are the Joomla styles which you can configure. You can uh, create new ones. You can edit the existing ones, duplicate, delete, just like in Joomla. Uh, we have menu editor. Uh, which allows you to do some extra stuff on the menu, like this. Uh, we have a styles. So this is uh, if you any of you have used Gantry for, it's about the same. So basically, you can uh, from this screen you can basically select your base style and then you can fully configure it. Uh, settings. Settings is the most in interesting part of, at least for me, because of I was so excited to create particles. Uh, so basically, uh, particles, I'm going to go a bit more deeply on those, but they are kind of the models in Joomla. So we have a build one, a build in ones, which we can use cross platform. So we don't need to use uh, Joomla, Joomla models in Joomla or, or WordPress widgets in WordPress or whatever there is in Magento. I don't know even. Uh, so basically, uh, these are the models you can insert. And these are the default settings in here, which you can define. So if you set default settings, you can basically overwrite those later. Or you can use the defaults when where you can actually just change the copyright in one place and it changes in every place. But I'm coming back into that in a bit. Uh, we have layouts, uh, which is our new layout man manager. So basically, instead of uh, guessing what's going to where, you can actually have a visual representation of your layouts. And you can figure out what you want to insert into, into there. Uh, you can add model positions. You can add the content where you want to. You can add particles. You can add JavaScript as you wish. And then you can modify those from here too. Uh, assignments is basically currently Joomla assignments. So there is not much into it, but we have plans to actually add more support than just uh, binding to menu items. And this is the front end. So this is the first uh, template we released, uh, which is the uh, Callisto. Uh, we still notice that we have a lot of things to do. So the next one will be having a few features that the last one didn't, or we found out that, OK, this is not going to work. Uh, so that next template will be late because I'm here. So I cannot finish some stuff which is assigned to me. But it will probably be available within a week. Particles. Uh, we had an issue in uh, Gantry 4, and that was using too much custom HTML models. Everything was custom HTML, and we advised users to use custom HTML if they wanted to have something custom. And basically, Particle is something that's going to replace that. You, you still can have a custom HTML, uh, but that's not very 
end user friendly or your customer friendly. So if you have a customer and you ask, okay, can you just <clears throat> change that HTML? No, they don't know how to do that. So basically, uh, we implemented particles, which are kind of light, very light models. Uh, you can write one in 10 minutes, and that has admin in it, and it's rendering nicely for the user, has nice fields for it, and uh, it's easy to use for the end user. Uh, and the uh, particles are mainly in a single purpose, so you write it for one use case only. So customer needs something like he wants to have medals for cows or something. So you write it for him. And uh, you, you have the, all the fields so he can add the uh, new items into it and so on and uh, change everything. But your customer doesn't need to understand how to change HTML or you don't need to use a day to write a model for that. Uh, what we are using is mainly Tweak and YAML, and uh, they are better than having XML and uh, PHP because of they are kind of e easier to understand. Uh, they do uh, uh, Tweak does automatic escaping for you. Uh, it has uh, inheritance features and so on. So we decided to use Tweak, and YAML is basically uh, it's uh, like writing your uh, shopping list. So it's very easy to use. So what we have tried to do here is basically to save everyone's time and to just have particles which you can pull into the layout and your user can configure and use them as they wish. Uh, here is the example. I'm, I'm not sure how it's showing up. Well, readable kind of. So this is the configuration part uh, from example particle, which showing kittens. It seems uh, basically uh, it's just a defin definition of fields. Uh, the fields are the same in general than HTML. So if you know how to write HTML, you just uh, convert the attributes into uh, variables in Tweak, and you can use them. There are some differences, though, like description label, uh, which aren't in, Joomla, uh, in in input fields needed to re render the title. So ha how it's going to look in the front end, we have this in here. So basically, the code in the left is showing the kitten in the right. So this will be the way you are doing the custom HTML. So basically, you create admin section for it, so users can configure it, and then uh, you create how many lines? 11 lines in total. A uh, small snippet of uh, HTML, which you can use in the front end. Uh, we also have layout presets uh, for the layouts. So you can write your own layout preset. This is using the extended version of it, but there is a short version where you can just say that, okay, this is the next section and the section contains this, this information in here. Uh, we have a style presets, which uh, you probably saw already. So you can change the styling. Uh, there is way to recompile everything. Uh, we are using SCSS uh, for ourselves. So basically, in SCSS, you can, it's like less, but I, I think it's, for me, it's better. At least the PHP has the later version of it. So there is much more you can do with SCSS compared to less. You can still write CSS, 
uh, or you can use uh, C variables in your CSS because of uh, if you write CSS, it's at the same time as CSS as well. Uh, but it allows us, uh, you to have uh, uh, like dark and, uh, and features like ver very complete features. Uh, basically, themes have also YAML file, which is defining how the theme will be rendered. Uh, it's also defining uh, inheritance. You can make templates inheriting from other templates. Uh, you can create overrides. Uh, they are also specified how you create overrides in the theme file. Fonts are there and uh, a bunch of other information which you might to want to configure for your theme. We are also using streams or emulating streams. So basically, instead of having something like a path to from root to uh, to a file, you are you can use Gantry theme or Gantry engine or uh, or Gantry media, which is in this case Juma media, uh, to define the location of the files. Uh, Gantry also has very powerful fields. For example, we have Font Picker, uh, which currently supports Google Fonts. So you can add a field for fonts, and then you can use it in your CSS. Or, a CSS. or you can just strictly import it in particle. Uh, we have also Color Picker which has a few features in it. It's nice. Uh, we have Icon Picker. You can use uh, Font Awesome icons currently for it. You can search. OK, let's have a quick, how much time do I have? Still, OK. So basically, uh, Cantry, I'm using Prime here. So uh, we have a list of, uh, this is actually available in Joomla too, if you access the, uh, the uh, component directly in admin, you can have the available themes. Uh, basically in here, uh, this is our own theme in Rocket theme. Uh, the, we have the base theme, which is the Callisto, which only has the uh, basically front page and uh, all the CSS and stuff like that implemented. Uh, but we also have inherited, inherited uh, demo. So demo uses the base theme. So you can basically uh, put more content into it, like images or add pages. Changing presets. Oh, yeah, I, I don't have it enabled, so it doesn't work. Um, and um, let's go to Joomla. Where is it? Here. I don't know. This is still Prime. This is Joomla. So if I compare Prime and Joomla, they look the same. So basically, uh, you can enter country from components. You can go from here, themes, or you can go from extensions, template manager, and click on on your uh, style to get into into your page here. Here we have, uh, for example, if I uh, say that something, this is the base outline. It defines all the other styles in Joomla. So you, you, ha you can have a, ba a base configuration, which you set up once, and then you can override all the settings inside of the other layouts. You can basically set the colors in here. Uh, we have the set 
setting screen, okay, discard changes. Uh, these are the particles. So basically, if you use particles, I can basically change the logo in base, and then it changes all in all the pages. I can also uh, go into layout and have the logo in there, and I can override the information in here. There's also block settings for for the particles. So basically what I can do, I can add a new module instance, for example, into here. This is a Juma module. I can pick something I want to put into there, or I can use Joomla a positions and uh, do it in, from Joomla. I can select and uh, save it, and then I, I, I would have that information in there too. Assignments is basically currently Joomla assignments, like I said, uh, but we are going to add more support for other options as well. Um, menu manager, you can create your menus in here. I don't have anything else on Callisto. Uh, so basically, you can freely move things here. You can resize these or move these first and resize as you wish. You can add particles into the menu. You can add models into the menu and so on. Are there any coders in here, or is people who actually uh, write, uh, create templates for the users? Okay, a bit more. So basically, uh, if you if you want uh, want to create something in Gantry, uh, it might be a bit overwhelming first because of we have to support multiple platforms. Uh, and that means that we need to kind of generalize things so that it, they will work without any changes in WordPress or in Crow or Joomla. So basically, uh, if you want to create just a Joomla theme, it's going to be easier. But I still would like... Uh, suggest that you learn how to actually use Prime for development. That has some uh, caveats in it because of you kind of need to put uh, files into multiple locations as you have uh, WordPress and you have Joomla and they are basically different from each other. Uh, but you can also have all the common stuff in one location. So you can basically share most of the code and just have those changing parts, which are just for WordPress, like uh, displaying some widget or uh, displaying some content in WordPress or in Joomla. Uh, those are kind of in the platform specific directory. But e everything else you can basically share. And li like I said, uh, it took me about 10 minutes to implement uh, WordPress theme from hy uh, not hydrogen but the uh, Callisto, and basically all I did was I I have base files here. Uh, these these are for for Joomla. I don't have committed the WordPress ones yet, uh, but basically you just copy those into into the, your theme directory, and you set it to inherit the base theme from uh, well common which is not Prime or anything else. And you have working WordPress theme. We also have compi Compile, which actually compiles those into one directory for the users, end users, and packages those. So basically, it allows us to create very fast templates for multi-platform. Uh, I, I think that I'm going to take questions now.
uh, well, I, maybe first I'm going to end my presentation here. This is the last one. And then I'm going to take questions and I'm trying to try trying my best to answer those. Uh, so country five is still pretty much uh, flux. So everything is moving and changing because of we are still implementing this uh, stuff we want to be in there. Uh, here are some examples. So I noticed that people still want to use less. Currently, you just can use either SCSS or less. So basically, I want to make it a, able to use both at the same time. If you prefer, for example, using uh, rocket theme templates, if you want to use less yourself, you can use in future when I have a feature implemented. There is also going to be import and export. So basically, everything inside of Gantry you can import from one site and put it into other site. And that includes cross-platform. So you can take styling you have in Joomla and put it into PHP BB if you want to. Uh, inheritance in layouts, we still have work to do. I, we noticed that <clears throat> it wasn't fully working for the users. So we are going to improve that. Uh, we are going to allow uh, sharing the sections so you can have base section, so common stuff all the site wide, and then you can have the page. Uh, inside of that page, you can customize something like colors or something else, uh, not, and without needing to look into those. Uh, multi language support is still in works, uh, so the ba basic support is there, uh, but uh, there is so much more we can do. We can make the particles uh, translatable from the admin directly, which would be, would be nice. There aren't any editors at this moment, uh, so we need to finish those up. And the, the page settings, well, uh, page settings is something that you can, uh, which aren't inside of particle, uh, because of currently we only have particle settings and we have the style settings, there is some piece missing. So, for example, if you want to set a class in a page, uh, that you cannot do that right now. Uh, there are sites where you can go uh, to look for more information. Uh, Candy.org is the place to look first. It basically has all the other links. And if, if you want to uh, meet the theme or you have something to ask, the best place currently is to just go to Gitter chat and ask the question. Just remember that we aren't awake for 24 hours a day, and we also need to do some work. Uh, but there are already many people who are helping other people who already have accustomed uh, to Country 5 and know something about it so they can help you in there. So, questions? Uh, can I ask, uh, 